what does actually innovation mean? Because we've got some big challenges, as Philippe has articulated to us, and, but the successful businesses of tomorrow are going to solve those problems through innovation. You want to innovate something, you should solve a problem. But for us, it used to be we can often get excited about, let's produce a new bit of technology because this is great and people can use it to solve a problem. But when you flip it around and say, what's the actual application or solution we're trying to solve here, maybe it's not a new product you need. In fact, what we're finding more and more is just a new way of using our existing connected products in a different way or applying a different set of services or utilising different collaboration with other businesses to actually extract that value and solve that problem. So that's the way we think about it first. Secondly, quality is number one. We want our engineering to be top notch, our support to be top notch and products with quality. So if you ever find a quality issue with a Schneider product, don't be afraid to call us out on it because we won't shy away. We'll embrace it and we'll aim to fix it. As we produce these new products, they must be simple and easy to use. Often our products are produced by engineers, they're integrated by engineers, many of you in the room today, but the people using these systems at the end of the day are operators and they don't necessarily have that same level of comfort with the technology. As our video at the start said, we, we aspire to be the global specialist in energy management and automation. In fact, we believe we are. And any product or solution or service that we produce must fit into that ecosystem. Our products can operate in other systems, other people's products can operate in our systems. But when we produce products that work in these systems, they must work better together. Which is why we see, and Philippe mentioned this earlier, we see this as an evolution, not a revolution. But the speed of evolution is, is increasing. Things are happening much faster. We've been doing it for a long time. We've been going along our, on our way. Certain industries, perhaps our industrial uh, lives, haven't been as ready for the change, but that's changing now. It's here. Some of those things that are now driving that change, as well as just the more digital nature that we're used to, is the rise in electricity demand. By 2040, we're going to have two times the electricity demand. The International Energy Authority says on average there's about 82% potential for improved energy efficiency in our buildings, around 62% in our industrial applications. That's a huge opportunity to try to solve some of those efficiency challenges. It's a commonly held belief that operators spend about 50% of their time looking for the information they need rather than actioning on the information. We've got an application about to be launched from Schneider in our marketplace out there called Vigio360 where you can build that information directly into your plant, link directly into your SCADA and ERP systems, image recognition, so you point your tablet at the device in your plant, it'll tell you exactly all the information you need to know about that, it'll bring up the manuals, it'll tell you the statuses, it'll tell you if any maintenance is required. You don't have to know. We're moving from having to know what to do when to just having to be told exactly based on location, time and pointing at it. Thank you.